Hey my friends, welcome to this week's RAV vlog. I'm here with my friend Aaron, who has only played the RAV for a couple hours, but can already play it. Um, yeah. So we're gonna look at which RAV scales go together very well. You can fit any RAV scales together if you're creating chords that are outside the sort of pentatonic bass that these are in. Um, but the three we're gonna look at are the B curd, the D major, and the B Celtic, because those are all based off of the same scale. All of the Rav scales have some fundamental notes that are the same, especially the ones in B. Um, so I'm gonna try to pull up an image of what scales go together, but these three you really can't go wrong because they all have the same notes, just in different orders. So let's take a look. The first two scales we're gonna look at are the B curd and then also the B Celtic. And these are the same scale with one note different, and that's just the half step. That's right here, but it should match this scale fine. So we'll give a good quick example of that. Next is the D major and the B Celtic. And the difference on this one is the center note and then the first note on this as well. So I, I have a D center and he has a, a B center. But again, these go together perfectly.
right, the next two are the B Celtic, or sorry, the B Curd and the D Major. And all we're really doing to pick scales that go together, look that they're in B, look at the notes and see if they match. Just on a simplistic level, if the notes match, the scales are gonna go together. Um, and also, one of us is kind of establishing a rhythm, and the other one's filling in whatever else is going on. So you're kind of playing the melody on top of that. So I right, these two. I know. So when choosing a scale to play with another, Ralph, you want to choose one that's probably in the same key. So like I said, all the Bs that Ralph currently offers match. Um, a lot of other scales have ones that will play along with it in a chord. Uh, but if you're looking just for simplistic playing, you want to choose something like the B chord, D major, or B Celtic, and you'll be able to play with whoever. Um, so again, what, how are you figuring out what to play when I'm picking just a chord? on this are you listening and, and choosing notes to play along with it or well since I'm not that well accustomed to what notes are on this it's kind of like play rhythmically to what you're doing and like I kind of have a gist of what where the notes are they're kind of in like a, somewhat of an order you know so yep. a scale order so I can just kind of kind of play that based on what you're based on what you're doing so just kind of listening for the progression and then choosing a melody that, yeah that fits yeah that. okay and this will vary very much if you're playing with a mandolin or mm -hmm. with a guitar. It's still using the same thing. One of the people that you're playing with is going to be picking the progression, and then the other one's going to be following along with it, so creating a melody to match it. Um, but who picks the rhythm and the chord progression, who picks the melody, just depends on who you're playing with. He happens to be very good at playing along with whatever progression that I've created on the mandolin and on this, so it's pretty easy. But if you're looking to play with someone, you want to find someone who can play well melodically with you or is great at coming up with chord progressions. So, hope this was useful in choosing some ravs that go together and we'll probably have future videos with the newer ravs that have come out going together and creating something. But, hope this gets you started playing and I'll talk to you soon.